agitated. You may want to check in on him. Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2. This is your host River Foxen and uh, Kelly seems to have something to say to us. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Garrus received some news that put fire in his eyes. Maybe you should speak with him down in the main battery. Grunt seems very anxious, pacing down in the cargo hold. You might want to check in on him. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. It's always nice chatting with you. All right, Grunt so very I need to check on Garrus and Grunt. But let's also look at uh, unread messages. You're too small. From Morlin. I am sorry, my mate. I leave you for a Krogan because you are not endowed as good as your species. Do you fear those words? Moreland's famous shop sells many enhancements online that are not restricted by Citadel trading regulations. Whether you require hormone augmentation, cybernetic enhancement, or genetic xenografting, Moreland has many things you will be pleased with. All species and gender order online from Moreland's famous extranet site. Hot link from this message. Product availability varies by local trade regulations. All Element Zero products require shipping surcharge. No shipping to Omega. Krogan reproductive organs not available. Other restrictions may apply. Okay, so we got spam from our old friend Morlin. Alright. Therapy. From Olar Han. Shepard, they say you're alive. That you cheated death. That sending you this isn't just a pointless exercise as part of my therapy. They say a lot of things. I'm still alive. She still isn't. I hear you killed Benezia. Nicely done. Another woman I helped kill if my information did any good. They want me to thank you. The Rachni would have killed us all had you not shown up. It would have been right. Why me and not her? Why did you show up then and not before? They think they can fix me. But maybe you're not really back. Maybe I died. Maybe I didn't close that door in time. Maybe I held it open to give her a chance, and the Rachni ripped my suit open and I died of exposure there on Peak 15. Maybe I'm a martyr and this is an ugly hallucination before a glorious afterlife. But if I'm not, then thank you. Han Olar. Okay, this is the, the whatchamacallit, the little guy from uh, one of the missions in the, uh, the last game. Uh, he, The one who was like racked with guilt because he closed the door on his... Uh, his friend and she was killed by Rachni. Um, so I guess he's uh, doing therapy and needs to talk to people. Transfer request approved from Admiralty Board Migrant Fleet Commander Shepard. Per Tali Zora Vasnima's request included with her data delivery from Haystrom, the Admiralty Board has approved her transfer to your command. She has been informed that additional duties to the Migrant Fleet may still be necessary on occasion but has been given extended leeway to determine when her mission with you is considered complete. This choice was hers, but your role as de facto captain during her pilgrimage may have caused her to be more susceptible to your requests. The Admiralty Board trusts that you will treat your new crew member with the respect due an honored member of the fleet. Should any harm come to her due to negligence on your part, this board will take severe and appropriate action. Admiral Rael Zora, uh, Migrant Fleet Admiralty Board. I believe this is her father. Guardian Angels from Oriana Lawson. I hope this is the right Commander Shepard. I'm Oriana. My sister only told me a little, but I don't think it occurred to her that I'm as smart as she is. I poked around a little and found an information broker who got me this address. I got to thank her, but I never got to thank you for helping me. My parents don't really understand it, but I know how much Miranda did, how many little things over the years were her looking out for me. I'm not going to tell them. I still want to go to school and get some degrees, but I wanted you to know that I know you saved me. I had a guardian angel all these years. I don't know if my sister has anybody. She said she's working for you and that it was pretty clear that you were doing something dangerous. Make sure she comes back alive, okay? Oriana. P.S. Don't tell her I sent you this. It would just make her angry. P.P.S. Miranda quit looking at Shepard's message. Messages. Oh, don't act like you don't. It's what I'd do. <laughs> Interesting. Atmospheric data received from Project Firewalker. 
Commander, a very capable team is analyzing the data you gathered from the Geth's research into atmospheric change. We hope it may open up some new avenues for terraforming procedures for future colonies. The tech used in the beacons also contains communication innovations that should help us develop better systems to reduce atmospheric noise. There is no evidence of Prothean activity on this planet. Alright. So I can mark all these as red. And let's now go find out what uh, Grunt and Garrus are all on about. Alright, let's go down to... I believe Grunt is on this level. He's in one of the... Oh, no, I don't think he's on this level. He's on the bottom level. Well, I think... Alright, he's in one of these. I'm gonna... Is it port cargo? Yep, this is the one. The clean one. All right, Grunt, what are you on about? Chambers said you're tearing up the place. Something wrong? Something is wrong, Shepard. I feel wrong, tense. I just want to kill something with my hands. More so than usual. Like it's not my choice. Like I just want to... I don't know. Err. Ooh. See? Why do that? What's wrong? Hmm. Okir didn't imprint anything to help you figure this out? I see pictures of old battles. Voices of warlords. But this is a blood haze in my head. I want control. When we're moving, fighting, I focus. But here my blood screams, my plates itch. And even you are just noise. I'm tank born. What is this? Hmm. Edie, anything in your files about Krogan diseases that could cause this? Cerberus has a number of autopsies on file, but nothing on a living Krogan of this age and situation. Krogan are reluctant to share medical records. My people were defeated by doctors and labs. They will never let stuff like that leave the home world to Chanka. Hmm. I guess we're gonna go to Tachanka. can get us to the Krogan homeworld. I need everyone at their best. Thank you, Shepard. I don't like this. Fury is my choice, not a sickness. Alright. So, we're gonna go to Tuchanka at some point. Anyway, now let's check on Garrus. And I believe he's actually... We should be here, right? Isn't it... Past engineering. No. No. Nope. Nope. Oh, hey, Tally. Yeah, right. I should say hi. That scunner couldn't serve a good haggis if his life depended on it. But all haggis tastes like ass anyway. Aye, but in the right hands, it can taste like mighty fine ass. Really? What can we do for you, Commander? All right. Carry on. It's just we'll some do, little banter about haggis. All right, let's talk to Tally. Shepard, what can I do for you? Hmm. Is the new Normandy giving you any trouble? Please, Shepard, I'm a quarian. Give me a chunk of scrap metal, a circuit board, and some element zero, and I'll have it making precision jumps. I was worried about working with Cerberus engineers, but they know what they're doing, and they've been very polite. How's the Normandy running? Say what you will about Cerberus. They know how to build ships. The Normandy's running even better than before. I don't know if it can stand up to a collector attack, though. I'm researching some ideas that might help. Hmm. Have you got time to talk? We didn't really have time to chat while taking out Geth on Hastrum, did we? I can't believe so many people died. Thank you again for getting Rieger out alive. All for data about stars blowing up. I hope the Admiralty Board gets some use out of it. Have you heard any word about Cal Rieger? Did he survive his injuries? He sent me a message. It looks like he'll make a full recovery. Any time you get a suit puncture, it's a matter of luck. Rieger got out with a relatively minor infection. Tell me about the fleet's Admiralty Board. It's one of two major political powers among my people. 
The admirals make decisions related to defense or needing immediate action. They also handle major criminal charges, like treason. The other political power is the Conclave, a group of representatives from each ship. They make most of our laws and fleet decisions. Any news yet on the data you sent? I'm not likely to hear anything for a while. Or on an unsecured channel, for that matter. Having any trouble settling back in on the Normandy? I like the quiet. I miss the old faces, though. Presley, Engineer Adams, all of them. It doesn't seem right having Cerberus in charge of this ship. Are you sure working for them is the right thing to do? I caught some tension back on Freedom's Progress and again when you first came aboard. What happened between Cerberus and the Quarians? They attacked one of our ships, the Idena. It seems they were attempting to kill or control a young human biotic who was on the fleet. I don't really know the details. I do know that Cerberus made an enemy of the Quarian people. Hmm. Does it look like they're pulling the strings, Tally? I'm not working for them. They're working for me. So you ordered the listening devices and tracking beacons that are all over this ship. I know you need resources to fight the Collectors, but be careful, Shepard. I fully expect them to betray us at some point, and we'll be ready. I'm glad to hear that, Shepard. Just let me know how I can help. For now, I should get back to work. Thanks for coming by. Alright. Alright, so Garrus is on the other deck, so we're gonna go check there. Thank you, Commander. Rupert put the new supplies to good use. I think he's talking about the better food. Garrus. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel. Name's Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sidonis was seen with him. What happened? How did Sidonis betray your team? He tipped off the mercs, told them where our base was. He drew me out with a false job, then let the mercs hit my team. My men weren't prepared. They tried to hold them off. By the time I got back, there were only two survivors. They didn't last long. All ten of them dead. Because of him. What are you planning to do when you find him? You humans have a saying. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. He owes me ten lives, and I plan to collect. You sure that's how you want to play it? I'm sure. I don't need you to agree with me, but I'd like your help. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. <laughs> All right. That's another thing we're going to have to do. But first, let's uh, kind of know what I want to do next. I just want to see. I might need to do some planet scanning here. So let's check on that. In which case, if I have to do some planet scanning, I'll do it offline. Yes, I'm going to have to do some planet scanning. So uh, I'll be back uh, momentarily. All right, and I've scanned this system, and so now let's move on. Let's see here. I wanted to do another Firewalker mission, which is, I believe, This map is sometimes hard to see. There we go. Alright, first let's hit the fuel depot. So that I can replenish my probes. 
Then let's figure out. We need to go to Ver. Which is all the way over here. to Korang here. Anomaly detected. Anomaly detected. Alright. Launching probe. Something on our sensors. Alright. Warning, death presence detected on the planet's surface. Use extreme caution. And we're going to do that. So this will be one of the first uh, Firewalker um, missions that uh, we're actually going to have combat in. Let's see here. I, don't, I never know who to take on these things. Let's take... Uh, I believe engineering abilities help the um, Mako or whatever it is. It's not this a hammerhead or something like that. Right. What can I buy? Hmm. All right. Tally, I'm going to auto level you because I've got too much going on. All right. And you are all used to, um, all right. And I don't think I need to worry about this. Glad that they're homing missiles. Makes things a little bit easier. All right. All right, I see my objective up there. to worry about yet. Nothing I can see. Something I saw just momentarily.
Well, that doesn't look pleasant. Basically, my missiles outrange their guns, so I just basically pick them off from a distance. Notice there's something back here. What's that? Extraction complete. I think I gotta go up there. There's something that way. Okay, this is just another way around here. Alrighty, which way? Up here? Alright, I see. I gotta use this thing as a ramp. Some nice looking slime, which I'm pretty sure will damage me if I land in it, if not destroy me outright. Let's see here. Baddies? Get the drop ship detected. 
Of course. One more of these artifacts. I'm feeling I'm supposed to go up this thing. Yep, there's something up there. Alarm means that my shields are down. Everything now. Alright. Artifact 5. Data recovered from planet's surface. Ignore historically significant artifacts recovered. Dr. Casey's location not found among recovered data. Geth presence on the planet eradicated. 
All right, 120 for experience. Got some moolah, got some platinum. All right, so that part's done. Anything to say? Elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. He does, does he? How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Tally seems very distraught after receiving a message. Maybe you could check in on her down in engineering. Anything else, Commander? All right. That'll be all. Take care. Well, a couple things I'm gonna need to take care of, but I'm gonna do that next time. So if you enjoyed this Let's Play, be sure to like and subscribe and click the bell icon if you're so inclined, and I'll see you later.